Zikor here and today we're finally getting around to answering the uh, questions that I got for the Q&A uh, special that I did during the 5,000 subscribers special. So we have uh, around 50 questions to answer <laughs> and it's going to take a long time but I'm going to try to keep um, do it in separate parts of uh, 15 to 20 minutes and uh, we'll see how it goes so before we actually get into the actual questions though and my answers uh, i have a question for you guys so um uh, one of the viewers called panic was kind enough to uh, take the time and effort to make me a new intro and uh, it's a really nice intro but i wasn't too sure if i uh, needed or wanted to switch to a new intro so um, I'm going to show you guys the intro uh, in a few seconds and I would like to just have your opinion. So here it is. So yeah, please just uh, let me know uh, how you feel about this new intro that Panic has made, to me, uh, has made for me. Uh, again, thank you so much Panic for doing what you did uh, like I appreciate the kindness and uh, Kindness and support so much man. Uh, thank you very much, uh, but please uh, Let me know in the comments if you want me to use this new intro that Panic made for me uh, Or if I should keep my current intro uh, for my videos Okay, so now uh, we're gonna start with the questions. Uh, like I said before, I'm gonna start with the old questions that I didn't get around to answering. And then after those are done, I'll get around to answering the questions I got for 5,000 uh, subscribers special. Uh, so the first question comes from Speeds, or at the time of uh, the question being asked, it was It's Speeds. Um, the first question is, um, can you sign my nipples XD? Um, only the left one. <laughs> but no the serious question is uh do you like to play any other games than warface and will you show gameplay f ever if you do so i do uh enjoy playing other games than warface uh, of course uh, we're talking about um pc games here because I, I i play a game on my phone as well but that's not really something i would record in post um for example um there's fortnite now at the time of the question that the question was asked uh, Fortnite didn't exist, or it was yeah, it didn't exist probably pretty much. I'm pretty sure. Um, but I play Fortnite, and uh, if, like I said before, if I get when and if I get good at that game, I will post um, videos of that. Um, you guys saw I posted Iron and I a video of Iron Sight. Uh, I played that with my friends, and I posted a video of that. Um, Black Squad I played a little bit and I might get back into it because it has a really nostalgic and uh, nice and different feel to it than Norface does for an FPS. Uh, and any other, like I play a Hearthstone as well but I don't ever see myself posting a video with that but um, I'm not gonna, before I used to have the mentality that I'm only gonna po post Warface videos but now I don't feel uh, so uh, limited to Warface anymore if that makes any sense. So. If I ever do play any other game like big time, um, like it becomes my main game and I really enjoy it, I'm definitely going to um, post the videos on it if I'm good enough and if I see merit uh, the videos, if I see that, that the vi what I record is worthy enough of posting. So next question comes from Peter, he asks, uh, why would you stop playing Warface if your clan dies? So before uh, somebody had asked the question like this, uh, what would happen if my clan stops playing Warface? And I said that if my clan stops playing or dies, I would stop playing. Uh, now, um, that turned that has turned out to be not exactly the case because nowadays my clan is pretty much dead. Uh, no, none of my friends play Warface, uh, but I still play Warface, and it's so it's more like if my clan dies, I would play Warface much much less. And the reason for that really is that. Uh, you guys all know how much of a, let's be honest here, how much of a broken game Warface is and all the problems that it has. And when a game has all, uh, problems like this and all these issues, um, if you don't play with your friends, at some point they're just going to become annoying, they're going to become frustrating. But when you're playing with friends, it, it 
even all like the worst of issues just become something to laugh about so uh, since when you don't have anyone to play with um all these issues like they keep coming and repeating themselves and you just stop it, it stops becoming fu being funny anymore so you kind of lose interest um you kind of get frustrated over time and don't want to play anymore and on top of that there's the fact that you've been playing for so long so you just don't have any um, real interest in the game anymore but like I said I um, since my my clan has stopped playing and I'm not gonna quit Warface but I'm gonna I'm playing much much less than I used to next question from Abdul um, he said he asks are you willing to upload any other games on this channel or in another channel um, I already answered this with Sweet's question um, yes I do I, w I wouldn't make another channel for it, I would just do it on this channel, um, and yeah, that's it, and uh, just stop, just don't stop uploading man, keep it up, peace out, thank you very much man, I appreciate the support. And next question from Taish, he asks, uh, okay well, if NA would become dead and so does Uplifted, uh, would you switch to EU, and if not, assuming you stop playing Warface, what would you upload in your channel? Also, would you be afraid to lose subscribers if you stop playing Warface? Uh, okay, so the first question is, would I switch to EU if NA and um, my clan dies, which they have? Um, and uh, unfortunately, the answer is no, because uh, it's a really, especially with Warface's um, paid win system and progression rate, it's a really, it's a really big pain to go back and unlock everything and just redo all the progress that I uh, went through on NA. Uh, and it took so damn long to do S and on top of that there's the fact that um, I know a lot of people ask me to get on EU uh, but I just don't enjoy first of all there's the fact that I don't enjoy playing as a red bar but also the fact that it, it ruins the game experience for others when I uh, play as play the game face them as a red bar so I don't want to ruin I don't want to ruin other people's game experience and it's not a great experience for myself either so I would not switch to EU or it would not become my main server or anything um, and the second part of the question if you stop playing Warface will you what would you upload on your channel um, like I said if I ever get interested uh, um, very interested in another game um, for right now the biggest potential would be Fortnite uh, I, I might uh, upload videos of that um, but uh, for the big part, for the bulk part, bulk part, the videos on my channel would um, will be exclusive to Warface, um, as for as long as it is possible. Uh, and the last part of the question: Would you be afraid to lose subscribers if you stop playing Warface? Um, not really, because um, my channel. I've never. I've always uh, taken this channel and my um, YouTube career, if you will as a sort of hobby and I'd, it, it's not like I, I'm, I'm not super obsessed with views and um, subscriber count and everything like that so um, I don't really um, it, it doesn't really it does matter of course like it will I do kind of like feel uh, s not not sad but like I, like looking back and seeing how big I was and not now is I've fallen uh, to I fall in lower or whatever you want to call it. it it obviously does make you kind of like regretful but it's I, I don't care that much about it to like not do Warface just to ha get the views um simple Warface asks uh, why do you always play motel in any video um so back when I upload a, upload a lot a lot of my videos were um on the motel fr free fall map and at the time, I didn't realize uh, that's the case. But when I realized, I I try I started um, diversifying the maps and the game modes that I play. Um, and I, like I said, I, at the time, I didn't realize that that's this, that's been going on. So um, and I didn't know it was an actual issue. But nowadays, um, but after people started pointing it out, I realized that I should probably um, start switching on my content which i did but also now uh, currently when i play warface and pretty much the only map that i fucking get is motel every single ffa 
I do really, I do genuinely, genuinely realize the issue with um, playing one map so often. Like, I used to like this map, but now that I play, like, 24-7, <laughs> I'm kind of getting tired of it as well. Um, so I, I do definitely um, uh, realize that a lot of my videos have motel gameplay uh, on it in them, um, and I will try to um, diversify as much as I can. And that's pretty ironic, considering the game. One of the gameplays in this video is on the motel. Okay, next question comes from Cassie, or Hasi. I think uh, you corrected me during the stream to call you. Um, love your gaming and your channel. Respect. Thank you very much, man. How hard was it to start the channel? How quick did the rate of subs and views increase? Keep doing what you're doing. Um, so. It's actually pretty hard, like, um, for the first year or year and a half, I got very little views, um, no matter what type of video I uploaded. Like, if you go back to my old uh, videos, you would see, you will see how low the numbers are. Like, I would get, like, the, the max, the max number of views I would get is, like, would be, like, 300, 200, something like that. Um, at, at first, even lower, like, between of course 0 and 100 or 150 but um, after I think a year and a half two years it started going growing and it, it, it started going up really really quickly the the numbers um, I started getting a lot more views like um, I was going from like uh, before I had like I said like 300 to 400 views maybe now it would be like 600 to like uh, 1500 or like 2000 even so it, it really takes a lot of um I, I don't like to use the word but like grinding or like uh, regularly uploading uh, uploading regularly to get the views and numbers going but as soon as you start as soon as you kind of establish that you're a uh, regular up like you that you upload regularly and put in the time and effort at a good reasonable pace and frequency um, the numbers will uh, become uh, relatively stable and uh, start growing more and more um, if there's any other question you have on this um, uh, if you have any other response or updates to this question after hearing my response feel free to leave it in the um, comment section the next question comes from Siahman Jamil uh, a little Q&A for you. Is your country uh, or USA better? Do you like cat? Um, so my current country, um, or at least the one you guys know of, because uh, I'm dual nation, have dual nationality, um, which is Canada. Um, is it better than the USA? Um, this might offend a lot of people, but I do think it is, um, or at least in the province that I live in, which is Quebec. Um, and like some of the big reasons or major reasons for that is because we have free healthcare, we have um, free education, and um, I, I feel like um, it's um, it's a lot. It, it might sound naive or like uh, kind of cheesy to say this, but I feel like people have uh, people's living standards are much higher in um, Canada or at least in Quebec than. It, it, it is on average in, throughout the US um, but if, if, you, if you, any of the American people in the comments uh, feel otherwise please inform me and um, let me correct my ignorance <laughs> uh, but I hope I don't offend anyone with um, this opinion that's just how I feel from what I've seen in the media and from what I have lived over here in uh, Canada or Quebec um, just a quick intermission, I actually forgot to answer the second question uh, from Siamen uh, in the original um, recording of the answers. <laughs> answers. Um, so do I like Cat? Uh, actually I do. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if this is a popular opinion or if it, if it just is the complete opposite and will... Or if even more extreme it will give me, give me a lot of hate, but actually prefer cat over dog <laughs> cats over dog um i i like them a lot like um their looks their their like their fur is usually like um soft and everything like nice to the touch and everything but um i i do know and i think I, i'm not sure because i've never had the experience but uh from what i've heard um 
petting having cats as a pet is much much harder than having dogs as a pet so um i wouldn't i don't have any pets and i've never had any and between the two even though i prefer cats over dogs I'd probably go f with a dog as a pet uh, rather than a cat, just because um, cats are. I think cats are much more of a pain in the ass to have as a pet than dogs are. Uh, but yeah, um, that's my opinion on cats. It, the question wasn't even cats versus dogs, but I it, it's kind of like implied in my opinion. When somebody mentions cats, there's always that debate of cat versus dog. So. Uh, yeah, that's my take on it. Uh, back to the next questions. Uh, next question comes from Eric Wang. I thought your uh, IRL name was Zcore. Um, since I'm wrong, how did you get the name Zcore? So I think I've already an answered this question, but uh, the name Zcore actually comes from a, a Dragon Ball Z spin-off uh, series called Dragon Ball AF. Um, uh, so after Dragon Ball Z ended, I'm not sure if most, any of you guys are fam familiar or know much of Dragon Ball Z, but after the series ended for l for the longest time, there was no, no continuation. So people started making fan series, and one of them, uh, the most famous one, was uh, Dra was called Dragon Ball AF. And the main villain of that series was was named Zekor. And now I didn't have a particular interest in that villain, but I just I chose the name Zekor, but because I found the name to be really nice and I, I i just like the name it's not because i like the villain that i chose it. um so yeah and probably the last question um uh, thanks for the fast response all the best uh, with your school stuff um and the rest of the comment is cut out uh, i apologize i couldn't get it uh, all here but i appreciate it very much uh, thank you for the support taish um, do your classmates know about your YouTube and do they bully you with it if they know? A um, little, maybe a bit personal, but I, but I give it a shot. Um, no, that's fine. Um, so, okay, so, um, uh, n most of my classmates don't know. Um, and I've switched schools multiple times, so uh, I have different groups of friends. But the current group of friends that I'm with, um, only one of them, only two of them know about it. Uh, one of them does sometimes, uh, he doesn't bully me about it, he kind of like makes jokes about it, like, uh, oh, the famous guy or the YouTuber, shit like that. Um, uh, but he doesn't really bully me about it, it's like, th there's nothing really to bully about. I guess you're, uh, when you say bully, because there's nothing to bully about, it's probably mostly like teasing that you mean. In that case, yeah, he does kind of like tease me sometimes uh, about me uploading videos and such. But like I said, um, in my current group of friends, only two of them know. And only one of them really talks to me about it um, because he's my closest friend. The other one is another one of fr my friends and we don't really talk about um, my YouTube uh, at all. And, uh, and in my old groups of friends, so uh, I have one group of friends from high school my current group of friends does come from my second high school where I graduated and the my group of friends that comes from the high school I went to before that all of them know about my channel and um, uh, as far as I they do sometimes tease me about it as well or if you want to call it bully um, they do sometimes talk about it and everything but it's it's usually in a lighthearted manner and in a nice kind of way uh, so I think that's going to be it for this part of the Q&A special. We only got around to doing 10 questions and there's fucking 40 left. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there's any uh, clarifications you would need uh, or if, if, if you have any follow-ups on any of the answers I gave in this video, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you have any new questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments as well, f which and I will get around to answering them in the next parts. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.